Hi, welcome back. It's Cypher Unlimited again, and we're here at the Game Hall Con, and um, we have a wonderful product we want to talk um, called Rest in Pieces with Peter. Hi. Hi. Peter Petrusha? Yeah, you said uh, it right. That's oh, great. I know. Thanks. I feel so lucky. Can you tell us a little bit about Rest in Pieces? I would love to. So, this is Rest in Pieces. Rest in Pieces plays with a two-color Jenga tower. Think of it as a slacker sitcom. People oh, yeah. are calling it Cards Against Humanity, the role-playing game, because you can play it in an hour. Oh, that is so, so awesome. everything you need is in the box, but you play deadbeat roommates who live with the Grim Reaper, <laughs> right? So we're thinking about, like, the regular show. We're thinking about Rick and Morty. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. You are going to play characters who are one-upping each other, trying to get ahead, get leverage, but it's all going to come crumbling down. There's no oh, way sounds, to win this game. That okay? sounds so awesome. So one of the things that's really cool about it is it was nominated for Best Rules at the Emmys, you know, like the RPG yeah. Oscars, So, uh, which I can thank the Dread, honestly. Let's just be honest. <laughs> it plays with a two-color Jenga tower. So instead of dice, when you go to do something in this game, you pull a block from the tower. But like most Jenga tower games, I don't want you touching every block and taking forever. So you get to touch one block because you're a deadbeat roommate and you aren't good at anything. <laughs> so when you go to touch a block, black blocks are when you're being selfish, white blocks are when you're thinking about someone other than yourself. So when you're being selfless, right? Because deadbeat so roommates awesome. aren't necessarily evil. They're just, you know, not thinking they're about other people's needs, right? Yeah. But you live with the Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. So the Grim Reaper thought you were cool, right? Because you have a dead end job, an odd hobby, and a deadly object, all stuff that they were like, that's metal. So in this case, <laughs> that thought it was great that you were a science spitter, that you liked alchemy, and that you had a thing for nachos. But <laughs> this is your character sheet. This is a dry erase character card. Where we're literally putting cards as they're prompted to kind of fill over the side and that make really phenomenal. fast characters, right? This is even how to make characters. It's just put right there in front of you. You have a problem with the player to your right and the player to your left because you live in a cramped studio apartment. So <laughs> one person's problems are everyone's problems. But on top of that, death has got a whole bunch of problems because you can imagine it's hard to live with death. So maybe maybe death has a bowling team in Coffin City, and your team's been killing it. You got to the championships until death got disqualified for removing some of the other players' contestants. So on the back, it tells you in three steps. How do we start the scene? This is the initial problem. How do we make it worse? And then how do we blow it nuclear, right? That is so awesome. You don't need all three usually because all you're kind of doing is fanning the flames as players start instigating problems, pulling blocks from the tower. When this falls, we ask the player what's the worst possible thing that happens to their character. And then whatever they say, we go in a circle and everyone adds to it to just really hit it home and make sure there's a horrible, silly, your mom gets brought in, your boss at work, your, your little pet foo foo, you know? That is um, so, I noticed you also have some accessories. Some expansion. Accessory, expansion. Yeah, so if you, if you get sick of death and you don't want to live in a cramped studio apartment, mm -hmm. you can go live with Cthulhu in the Sunken Kingdom. Uh, of course, it's actually like a leaky flop house, but you know, <laughs> Cthulhu likes it. We, yeah, now, so the Game Master, the game master. because it's the 80s Dungeon Master from the cartoon, mm -hmm who retired awesome. to South America and fell in love with pro wrestling. <laughs> oh, but as everyone that knows, TSR is pretty litigious, so you could know they're going to be called the Dungeon Master. So it's the Game Master. All, all this is absolutely gorgeous Thanks. and beautiful. But could you tell our audience where they could find this and yeah. purchase if they happen to not sure. be at Game Ocon? So uh, you can go to your, your friendly local game store can get it, whether it's your ACD distribution, Diamond distribution, Universal distribution. You can go to my company, which is Imagining Games. So you can go to our website, order it. You get free shipping with any two products you buy, whether that was the game and an expansion. Um, so a lot of places for you to go and shop. Yeah, and guys, it, I know it looks beautiful on camera, but it looks even more beautiful in person. You should definitely go check it out. <laughs> and it has the best rules at the Emmys. Um, before we log on, is there yeah. anything else you're working on that you might want to Oh, sure. If you want to show the backdrop, yeah. Literally, as I sneak in and out of this show to get my next Kickstarter update ready, we're making Chew the role-playing game. Chew is one of the best known, most popular. If you look at the top ten list of Image comic book series, it's always number three, four, five, six, seven. It's done. It's a foodie crime drama. So, in a world not like our, unlike ours, the bird flu killed over 100 million people. So, the U.S. 
Food and Drug Administration became the most powerful law enforcement agency in the land when they put in a poultry prohibition. Chicken is illegal. So drug dealers started egg dealing. The mob and the Yakuza started chicken trafficking. Corporations were racing to find the next best chicken substitute. That's I, your life. Oh, I'm definitely, <laughs> Quirky and, characters. And that Kickstarter will be out soon? It's, it's, it's coming soon. Oh. Yeah. PDFs start coming out next month. It'll be available in the spring. There's chicken bucket dice cups. That yeah. is so awesome. So, real quick, you said it, but the Kickstarter starts. No, no it's, it's done. done. Yeah. Oh, it's done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's done as if I'm finishing it up. But yeah, the PDFs are coming soon. But you, if you want to pre-order, you go to that website. There's a game found link. You can even get like the there's holographic covers, deluxe slipcase signed by the comic creators, but only available now. So nice. thank you so much, thank Jonathan. You. Hey. And quick plug in the awesome. company company name again. Imagining Games. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Yeah. Thank you. So much. It's yeah. Peter. Oh, okay. Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> and from us at the CU, we'll see, see you, you later. later.